Self-realization is the simple realization of awareness is ever present and never changing. And everything that is appearing in awareness is appearing in my consciousness, in my own consciousness. I am the totality. It's the realization that there is no victim out there. There is no out there because everything is a projection of my consciousness. You are that. Everyone is that. Everyone is the infinite consciousness. So everyone is looking at their own movie, their own projection. The realization that I am projecting it, I am making it, I am making myself suffer by my own projection. That's the realization. Everything is inside my consciousness. And everyone is the infinite being. Everyone is a focal point of the infinite being. So everyone is the whole universe. The whole universe is appearing inside yourself. That's the realization. With that realization comes a possibility to realize I am the director of my own play. I am the director of my movie. What do I want to project? So then there is a stepping into I am the creator of it. I am creating my reality from consciousness. So where do I want to put my consciousness? Do I want to fuel a bad movie which is making me suffer? Or do I want to be inspired and live from intuition, joy, unity? Stepping into I am the creator is unavoidable. It's an unavoidable step of realizing that you are infinite consciousness. Because with the realization, you stop creating unconsciously. We are unconsciously creating suffering. We are unconsciously creating our own suffering. When we're looking at our thought and we believe we are the thought, so maybe we believe I'm not worthy of receiving. I'm not lovable. I'm not enough. I'm small. But that's a projection appearing in consciousness. The screen of awareness, consciousness, is not affected by the projection. It's realizing that your nature is the screen. And then what do you want to project on the screen? Why am I still projecting anger? Why am I still projecting lack? Why am I still projecting that I am not loved or not seen or not understood? This is the process of dealing with things consciously. And this is what I'm proposing to support you in doing, to reveal where am I still projecting something that is creating my own suffering? And why am I doing it? Can I step into my infinite nature, which is living the human experience from effortlessness, relaxation, not being in a hurry of doing anything, self-respect. It doesn't mean to not do anything. It means doing effortlessly. It means going along with inspiration, with your heart song, It means intimacy with all things. It doesn't mean that you become a loving person towards everyone. It means you can set boundary to what you want to include in awareness because you are it. It's possible to monitor what comes in who is allowed in. It's so simple, 
so simple, but <laughs> it's a totally stepping outside victim consciousness. Totally stepping outside of that. It's all ever only your own projection. It's taking ownership of your projection. What do I want to project? Why do I still believe I have to make all kinds of effort to survive? You are the infinite being. You don't have to subject yourself to any limitation. So here, how it shows up, I take care of my body. I take care of my energy. I take care of my surrounding. I work when I feel inspired to do so. I meet with people because it's enjoyable and I can bring them more clarity. Nothing is done by trying to do anything. The moment is eternal. There is no later. There is no prior. There is just this intimacy. Nothing to find. Nothing to get. Nothing to find out there. The out there doesn't exist. You can walk to the end of earth, you will still be here. Meeting yourself, meeting only more of yourself. There's nowhere to go. You're not going to find yourself somewhere else. The future never come. The future is like a little carrot that we're running after, but it's never going to be attained. The future never come. It doesn't exist. The future never come. You cannot exist later. You cannot exist before. That's the simplicity. Just being guided by what you want to enjoy because why would you impose anything on yourself? You are the infinite being. You can never lack. You can never lack love. You can never lack inspiration. You can... If you impose yourself limitation, then you will feel lack. But you don't have to impose yourself limitation. As simple as that. It's just living the human experience from lightness and effortlessness without grabbing and grasping at anything. There's no need to grasp and grab at the movement. There is no need to grasp and grab at experiences. Everything is allowed to move. It's allowing energy to move. From a place of silence, peace, stillness. Suffering doesn't have any hook to hook itself on. It's enjoyment of sharing relationship, intimate relationship, and relative love is magnified through the lens of our infiniteness. <laughs> it's allowing ourselves to live from effortless being, from wisdom, from intuition, without any burden, without any worry, without any anxiety. It's the eternal now. There's nothing to worry in the eternal now. There's nothing that needs to be planned. Everything happens spontaneously. You'll deal with things when they come. You don't have to plan for things to come or not come. You can function from your infinite nature. That's the message. And if there's too much blockage, too much pull to adopt limitation, if it seems to be hard, 
to let go of this limitation, then I can support you. Then book a time with me and we'll dissolve the charge underneath this thought and belief. I am not worthy or it's not for me or they're happy, I'm not happy. This is just a box, like a radio that is sending messages. <laughs> They don't mean anything if you don't adopt them. So that's that's my purpose, my gift, is to be available to meet you and dissolve the charge underneath these thoughts and belief by allowing yourself to feel the feeling attached, by losing the fear of feeling. My path included sitting with my pain, sitting with the sadness, sitting with the fear. Doing things that may seem fear fearful or scary and being able to feel the fear while I'm doing them. And there is less and less fear. There is less and less and less and less belief in the mind. The mind doesn't know anything. It's limited. The human mind. Infinite mind, infinite intelligence can guide your life. You are worthy of living in effortlessness. <laughs>